Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is my first video in this channel. So let me properly introduce myself and what this channel is going to be about. I am a computer science and engineering student. Currently, I am learning and practicing web development. In this channel, I will share my knowledge about web development, app development, and programming in general. So I hope you stick with me in this journey and get something or learn something. I really want to inspire and push people into programming and development because you don't have to be a computer science and engineering student to be able to do coding or programming. You can be anyone and anything. There are so many ways you can use programming skills into good stuff. Let's get started with today's video. Introduction to HTML The full form of HTML is Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a language, a markup language that is understood by the browser. HTML is a markup for the browser. What does that mean? That means that we are marking our content, we are marking our document for the browser to understand. For example, we mark the head section and we mark the title of the website show the navigation bar we show what is the footer we mark the document for the browser to understand what is a sidebar what is a navigation bar and what is a footer what is the body what is the body of the content in this way we mark up everything for the browser to understand html gives structure to the web content yes it basically gives the web content structure as in what is what, what is used for what and how particular component or content should be shown. HTML is not a programming language, it is a markup language. It doesn't do any operation or mathematical stuff, it's just marking your document. HTML is case insensitive. That means it doesn't matter whether the HTML markup uppercase, lowercase or mixture. It doesn't matter. There is a difference between the opening tag and closing tag. The difference is closing tag there will be a forward slash. So this is the element. An element consists of opening tag, content and closing tag. This is how the HTML syntax looks like. This is how the browser knows that hello I'm a paragraph is a paragraph. We will know about attributes. Attribute. Attribute consists of two parts. Attribute name and attribute value. Attributes are always put inside the opening tag. You will always put attributes in the opening tag. What are attributes used for? Attributes are used for pointing or defining the element. Attributes are used to add properties to the element. Here we are using class attribute. The function of class attribute is to give the paragraph element a name. Is to differentiate this paragraph from the other paragraphs. This paragraph now has a particular class name which is para. That's all for today. I hope you guys like it and since it's my first video, I'm sorry if I've made any mistakes and if you don't understand anything, let me know in the comment section. Also, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Don't forget to follow me on social medias. I've linked them down below, also in the screen. Thank you.